All right, well, let's go. So this is my first time going live on YouTube. How about that? Um, it's definitely something I want to do more of. Um, I wonder if we're even going to get anybody here. I usually go live on TikTok and Instagram all the time. And this is my first YouTube live. So what I'm doing here is some LVP. Let me get an extension for you. Here. I'm gonna show you one row basically of how I'm doing this. And uh, we will see if something you guys understand or not. And hopefully I don't do an awful job of explaining this. Um hey. Whoa. Alright. So we're at our YouTube studio here and um Beautiful in New Hampshire. And uh, so let me show you around. Where are you located? So I'm in New Hampshire. And uh, let me show you around our studio. Essentially, this is the YouTube studio that we have built. So this is going to be a mock bathroom. This is where I'm going to do like Mach 1, Mach 2. So we're going to start out with a $1,000 bathroom. So the whole thing, I'm going to try to get under a 1000 bucks. And then this is where I want to do tutorials and uh, things like that. So basically, it will be kind of like a shot like this. And then I can show different types of things, I guess you could do. Uh, but And then the rest of this area is going to be our tile studio because my wife and I, we have a tile store that we own. Uh, where we sell tile to our customers. So this over here is going to be a tile like area. And then our TV is going to go here. So when we show our clients the designs, for, for the designs, um, there's going to be a TV there and we sh uh, basically do our 3D rendering for them. Um, this is going to be one of our tile suppliers, Arquitessa. And this is going to be like their corner for just their tile specifically. So um, really excited about this. Uh, I'm excited about this. Um, I don't know, let me show you. So over there, one of the coolest parts and why we were so kind of lucky to, oh, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a courtyard over here and I'm gonna put a basketball hoop there, like on this side, it's gonna be really cool. But we, we got our own like uh, patio there and uh, I'll be able to do, I'll be able to have my tile saw out there and uh, kind of, you know, when I'm doing things. So I'm really excited about it. This, you know, I'm just a random contractor from New Hampshire. So like to do something like this and spend this type of money on all this stuff is a big, big step for me because I'm not a YouTuber. Um, you know, I really love what you guys are doing. Great stuff. Thank you so much. Um, so right now, let me, this is like not a good shot here. So right now, let me try to show you basically how I'm gonna make a couple of these cuts uh, and how I wrap my mind around it. So, bam, 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 bam. so when I finished up the, when I finished up the flooring on that side, when I cut off the, the, the ends on that side, I was left with this piece. So whatever is the cutoff on the other side is the starter on this side. Okay, so I'm going to just randomly, well not randomly, kind of put it right there. And then this next piece, uh, all right, so I gotta try to replicate this corner. So I'm gonna go like this, basically trace, trace this wall, go like that. Go here with your box cutter to there. And then this LVP flooring, basically you just go like this and then snap and it breaks. And that's literally how you cut LVP flooring. Um, but I know this is going to be my starter as well over here, which will go like this. So I'm going to just replicate this same angle on this flooring. <laughs> I found this cool knife today. So I thought it was pretty, pretty nifty. All right, um, so this is gonna be my, 
second. Like that. And honestly, yeah, because if I start with this, see, if I start with this one, my joint is a little bit too close. So I'll start with this one, and I'll be a little bit farther away, I guess. So I'll, I'll go here, skadoosh, like that. Bang. That is going to be its resting place. Get another piece. This flooring, this is so simple to install. Basically, you start off about an inch, you get it into the groove, start off about inch, two inches, whatever, and then slide it in. Right there, hold on, get this side into the groove. Right there, slide it in. This comes down, grab a rubber mallet, and then this locks in, all right? So now, this one's gonna be pain in the buns over here. I don't think I'm s smart enough to figure this thing out. Okay, so if, if this is here, this is here. I do have a square. Let me see if I can figure this out. This is like just straight up. Set up. Oh, jeez. All right. So now, what I'm going to do to replicate this angle, it's gonna go like that. What is that gonna give me? It's gonna give me nothing. What am I doing? You're blanking out. So you got your friends watching you. You got your friends watching you. All right. So this is that. Okay. Honestly, this is like a little bit more than 45 on this side. Uh, this is a little bit like that. So, if I can go like this. Probably should not be using a sharpie. Probably should not be using a sharpie. All right, so two and one, two, three, eight. So if I go here, two and three, eight. There's literally no way I'm about to do this. Bom. All right, so what did we say? Not quite 45. So. If I go like this though, and then I'm gonna steal this corner and come to this dot. Two more threes, two more threes. It'll be like this. This is probably not a good look for me, but there will be a baseboard around here, so whatever. This actually might work. And this goes here. Kind of like so. So I have my point, right? I figured out my point, and now, now what's the point? It's right here. And then I'm just gonna go like that. Um well while I have you guys here, what if I um, show you my cool new tool? Hold on. So I. I got myself this new. Uh, I've never owned a tool like this before. So it's a uh, compact circular saw. This is the first time I. A friend of mine. A friend of mine had it and or has it, and he really likes it. So. I wanted to have a. Uh, a saw for my studio here and I thought why not get something you've never had before got a blade let's set it up let it not be hard oh, look at this little thing oh, what is this? oh look at that it's got a little um, little thing in there 
a little thing and everything. Right, so. So this, usually a red button like this. All right, and there was, there was an Allen key here. So it's this guy. That's locking. Unlocking is to the right. So this is like, a lot of saws will have like reverse threads so that I guess when you're cutting, <laughs> the blade doesn't get loose. <laughs> uh, if any of you guys are new to me, you can ask questions and I'll answer them the best I can. Okay. Now, I'm assuming it's this way, right? Uh, you guys are like, what the hell is he working on? Oh. Setting up this uh, little circular saw. Bang. This guy goes, oh, I'm excited about this. I love tools. Um, so at the studio here, we're going to have, uh, we actually do have like a warehouse kind of situation as well. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have like a tool shop there. It's pretty big. I mean, it's like 400 square feet is our little warehouse, kind of out in the back. Um, but it's inside. It's got it's got AC. Like what the hell? Um, and we're going to. I just had it. Ow! Ow! Where are you? Do you think Alan invented Allen keys? <laughs> or do you think it's just because it kind of looks like an L? It's not Ellen or Len keys, right? All right, so I think that's the setup. Put some outfits here. If you are a kid under 18, make sure you're wearing safety glasses when you're doing this. I literally always have my safety glasses, except the one time I need it, which is right now. How does it say? Oh, it's right here. Ooh. What? This is all wrong. Oh, wait, actually, no, hold on, let's see. Let's just see what happens. So, can you guys see this? All right, are you guys Buddums. What's up, buddy? Hey, StarTile, how you doing? Glad to see you, subs rise up. Thank you so much. I do have like a social media presence. I have like 2.5 million followers. Um, I have two, like 2.1 million followers on TikTok and like 380,000 followers on, on Instagram. It's just like, I haven't done YouTube and I want to um, get into it. Um, all right, so let me, all messages are visible. Live chat, all messages are visible. There we go. So let's, uh, all right, so kids under 18, glasses um, or TikTok, it's, it's awesome, but all right. Should be wearing glasses, all this stuff, right? Let's see. Honestly, this was bombarding my eyes. I, just, I know if I would have went to my car to get the safety glasses, you all would have bounced. You'd be like, all right, he's out. Um, now I made a mess. I should have done it over there. <sighs> Do it for the live. All right, um, let me sweep this up. 
Get out of here. All right. There's absolutely no way that I did this right. But sometimes we can get lucky. All right. So again, I'm going to... That's not bad, right? So I'm going to have a... Uh... I'm still going to have like baseboard around here. It's going to be a one by six that's going to run around this entire room. So this is legit. All right. I guess going to school for civil engineering paid off. All right. So now do you guys want to just kind of follow me down the line? Yeah, I'll come back to this little corner. Just follow me down the line here. And oh my God. So then you can see more of the installation process. I want to show you the end, kind of how the end works. And we do have two lane, two lines here that we can do. Oh. Adrian! There we go. That little thing was freaking aggressive. Um, all this PPE, man. Yeah, I should have been wearing glasses. Like 100%. I'm not even like... Not, not gonna argue anybody on that. All right. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you basically these left two rows. And then I'll probably just post this as a, uh, all right, so this is super simple, literally, ring light is a bit I gotta get one of those that kind of follows your face that'd be kind of cool uh, all right so this literally kind of comes in here slides in skadoosh we're good there and then you just hammer that in if you're a DIYer and like you're intimidated by tiling I would do this um, literally tools in terms of tools that you need, you need like the floor doesn't have a stripe. Great. There's so many of these designs. You guys can actually get a free sample of this stuff on my Instagram if you want. Um, but there, they, there's four sample, there's four designs that you can get for free. Um, but yeah, there's so many of them. I'm actually going to do a, uh, my next YouTube video that I'm going to do, I want to do a test, not a test. Like I wanted to show basically um, pros and cons of installing LVP versus, versus tile. I think there's appropriate applications in both areas. You know, um, like if you're a DIYer, let's say if you're a DIYer and you, Like if you're a DIYer, I would rather you absolutely crush it doing LVP flooring because of how easy it is to do versus like struggle with tile and it'd be like not nice. You know what I'm saying? Um, set yourself up to do well, I guess, is a good, uh, is a good uh, kind of method. But if you want something that's gonna last you like 15 to 20 years, definitely you want tile. Um, but if you're just trying to like, let's say finish off a basement and just want it to still be nice, get yourself some nice LVP flooring and uh, do that. All right. Okay. I mean, this is as easy as it gets. So this LVP is actually kind of thin and uh, what's nice is like once it uh, like kind of climatizes or whatever the word is to the room, acclimate, I can't say it, acclimatates, whatever, once it gets to the temperature and in the next couple of weeks it will kind of hug the tile and uh, it'll be legit.
All right, let me move you guys down. I just want to show you the, the, the end piece over here, kind of how to do that, and then I'll hop off. So I already went, I already went live on TikTok, Instagram, and now YouTube. And honestly, like, it's 9.40. I've been up since 5. But, you know, there's a saying of, if you want something you if you want something you've never had, you gotta do things you've never done. And that's what's really cool. You know, when you hustle, it's hustling is fun, I guess. I don't know how else to say it, because um, it feels like you're doing something with your life. I don't know. Especially like I'm young. Still got a bunch of time. All right, so I want to get you guys two over here. Come with me. Just kind of show you how to cut it and finish it off. There's a little trick there. But we do need to open a new box. Rocky, that's where you go. All right. So to finish off your rows, um, you will need a sharpie. Once again. Whoops. You will need a sharpie. So basically, our row you want it to continue in like this, right? This is what you want. So it means we need to cut this piece off. Like we want this piece in here. So you flip it around. That made no sense, whatever. Flip it around. I butt it up against the wall because once I mark it on my little tongue over here, that shifts me over a quarter of an inch. So I'll cut it here. And um, again, having a little speed square helps. So just mark your speed square up like there. Skadoosh, skadoosh, twice, and then karate chop, ah! like that. Throw that on the other side. So again, that piece that I just broke off goes to the other side as a starter piece, okay? So then that goes in here. This guy goes here, bam, bang. Hammer. Like so. Um, okay. And then is this piece not long enough? Okay. So then this piece goes in here. Hold on. This guy needs to be tapped in a little bit. Every couple of rows, you do want to have a little tapping block like this. And just... Kind of smush it in a little bit. All right. So then we got this piece. Wow, we did so much today. We got <laughs> on this line. <laughs> we, we, we did a tool, opened up a tool, unboxed a tool. That's kind of cool. Um, we got this two rows in. And then, so then again, I'm gonna use a full piece because then I'll have a full starting piece on the other side. Go over here, go over here, butt that in there, skadoosh. Go here, like so, here. Do you guys enjoy this live? Like, should I do more of these? Like I'm tiling, I'm tiling tomorrow. I could show you, I can go live tiling and show you kind of that process. We're doing a, a tub. Dang. All right. And then I'm gonna hop over to the other side and we're gonna do the other side. Um, yes, there really is. Uh, no, I'm in Turkey and doing Jack. 
Okay. All the time. Nice. Uh, go live tomorrow. Okay. I'll tr I'll I'll show more of like just the kind of like the process, you know, or like the sequence and stuff. Because I am making a full a YouTube video about that bathroom that we're doing. Um. Yeah. Do more YouTube how tos. I know. I I'm. I'm a one man. Like social media army. Uh, my wife does help a lot with uh, DMs and answering messages because we do get to every single um, like DM on Instagram and we get uh, over 200 a day. Um, so she's a huge help in that. But um, our goal is to do this, um, to do like charity bathrooms for like vets. And, you know, if I can grow my YouTube channel to basically supplement my construction job, then I will... Um, I will do bathrooms as giveaways and things like that. But we still have a ways to go um, to do that. So um, YouTube is one of those things where like you have to pace yourself. And I know people are like, oh, dude, you're growing pretty quick on, on YouTube right now. But compared to like TikTok and Instagram, it's not even close. But um, we'll be all right. All right. I'm a veteran. Let's go. Um, I really, I really, really respect the military uh, structure i don't know if the, i don't know if that makes sense like I, I i have a lot of respect for that i think that's really cool um all right well thank you guys so much i hope this was not a waste of your time completely um i'm not really sure how these lives work if you guys are i guess you all subscribe to them here but all right peace out have a good night